Hi everybody and welcome to May's Sew and Tell. I'm super happy to be here. It's a beautiful spring day. Happy belated Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, my name is Lynn. I am the manager of our Rocky Mountain Sewing and Vacuum Store in Littleton. And I'm just super happy to be here with you today. As you can see, we have a great spread of samples, some really fun projects this year, uh, this month from actually this year too, but this month from OESD. So let's get started um, with a fun event that we're gonna have upcoming in June. We have, it's a two day event. There's a Wednesday and a Thursday and then also a Friday and Saturday. And I'm really sorry, I don't have the dates, but I know it is the, maybe somewhere around the 11th and the 12th of, um, June, so you'll want to be sure and sign up for that. It's a hands-on team sewing event. It's called Stitching in the Kitchen, and we have several of the projects here. Rebecca made them for us. She's going to be assisting at the event. We have a fun luggage tag or tag that you could put around a jar full of um, like a cookie mix. It's made with love, and it's done with their uh, sparkle vinyl, which is great. We have their table runner. It's an applique design on the end of the table runner. Their table runners are great. They're nice um, and substantial. Uh, she did embroidery on both ends of the runner. It's applique, so it's just a fun, quick project. They're also going to do a um, uh, hot pad that would go on the end of a handle of a pan so it's quilted and stitched this is all done in the hoop we have another hot pad um, with just a fun quilting design on it made with um, um, oh gosh it's just slipped my mind uh, the heat it retains the heat so you won't burn your hand has uh, insole bright on the inside a fun applique towel um, this is done with fabric. It extends off the edge of the towel, so that's great. And then my favorite project is the apron. You know, I, you know, I love my puns. So this is an apron with a design on that says, I'm a whisk taker. So this is a great project as well. All of these are going to be done at the event. You'll get a kit. You'll be able to make all of the, maybe not all the projects at the event, but you'll have the instructions and the, um, all the supplies you need to do these projects at home. So make sure and sign up for our OESD event, which is coming up the first week of June. Um, also here we have from OESD, these are all the current designs from May. Um, Amber at our Aurora store was super busy this month. She uh, sent us with Linguini the plant and Gusto the frog finger puppet. OESD has a great um, finger puppet design disc. It's called Finger Puppet Pals. It's actually scissor tail stitches. And she made all of the little finger puppets that are on the disc. There's a skunk, a couple rabbits, um, a bat, the frog, a fox, and a bear. So these are just great fun. If you have children in your life, these would be fun for them because they're they could play, they could do be very creative and imaginative with these finger puppets. So those are the finger puppets from Scissor Tail Stitches. We'll say goodbye to Linguini. Um, next, we have we have just a bunch of great designs this month. Originally, when I looked at the front covers, I was like, eh, I don't know if I like those. But boy, once I get going, they really have some great things. So um, this design is called Make a Splash. It's by Lisa Glanz. We've seen several of her designs before. It's scissor tail stitches. And it is a great collection of C items, uh, designs. They're almost, I would say, almost kind of a steampunk looking design. Maybe not. Um, 
When Larissa was younger, she always liked the Beatles. She liked Octopus's Garden and Yellow Submarine. So I couldn't decide which design I liked better. So I put the octopus on one side. We had gotten these great colors of grunge in. This one reminds me of uh, Butter Rum Lifesavers, which I remember just loving as a child. So we have the Butter Rum, and this is called Lustra. It has a bunch of colors. It's really pretty. So I did just kind of two different designs on either side of the bag with um, just some great fabrics, great colors, great designs. And also Amber did this jacket It's an extra small, so it's tight on there. Um, but she did this jacket and stitched Stay Wild Ocean Child on the back of the jacket. It's really a great design. Looks beautiful on the jacket. So this is just a fun disc. It's kind of whimsical. It has some great designs. It has uh, some bunnies doing scuba diving. It has a narwhal. It has just really fun designs. So you'll definitely want to take a look at that. If you are not able to get to the store, we have all these designs in the store. But if you're not able to get to the store, you can always order them online. If you go to our website, uh, there's a tab that says products. You click on that, scroll down, it says embroidery. You'll click on the embroidery tab and there will be a link that will take you directly to the OESD website so you can order the designs right off of the website. You can get them digitally, they come to you quickly so you don't have to wait for things to arrive. So uh, just some great designs. Another one that I thought was really pretty, um, Amber also did, it's called Watercolor Feathers. It's Scissor Tails also has a beautiful collection of feathers and Amber used three of them on this bag. This is one of the Kimberbell bags, which are great because when you get them, they're totally flat. So you can do the stitching on the bag and then you sew it up and it's completely lined when you're done. So she used one of the felt bags, put these great feather designs on there. Um, just kind of a fun little bag to travel to sewing classes or for cosmetics when you're on a trip. But just a beautiful design, watercolor feathers. Um, another fun design is this um, quilt. Amber put just this fun small quilt together and she used OESD's Nature Quilting Pantographs which has really some nice designs for quilting in the hoop. There's some trees, there's some flowers, there's some stars, some feathers. So she used variegated thread and did the quilting on this small quilt. Um, just really a pretty design, has rainbow pot of gold and then the rainbow quilting on there. So this is a great way to do, um, these pantographs are a great way to use magnetic sashing frames or um, a, a camera on a machine for positioning and just a great project and a fun way to quilt a small quilt. So that is OSD Nature Quilting Pantographs. Next up is uh, a too hot to handle disc. Uh, they're going to make one of these in the um, at the OESD event, but they have a disc also, um, several different patchwork designs. You can make a hot pad that would go on the end of the pan handle so you don't grab it and it's not hot. It has insole bright in the middle of it. It's quilted and all done in the hoop. So these are too hot to handle. There's four designs and this would be a fun gift for, we could get ready for Christmas because Believe it or not, it's gonna be here before we know it. So, Too Hot to Handle is one of their fun designs. I can't believe on a beautiful spring day, my brain already went to Christmas and thinking about getting ready for that. Um, this next design disc is called Charming Borders. It is super cute. There's um, birdhouses, there's some teacups, flowers, chilies, 
oak leaves, some gnomes, some beehives. It's just a beautiful, got some beautiful designs. And we have three really creative ways to use it. Terry used one of the um, Kimberbell towels, the ombre towels, and did a row of birdhouses and gardens across the bottom of the towel. Just really a cute, nice design. Jamie in the Aurora store made this adorable little girl's pinafore um, with the teacups across the bottom. So she used uh, this beautiful opal essence fabric. Um, I know we have this in the uh, spring store. I'm gonna guess they have it in the Aurora store and we're gonna get some of the collection in the Littleton store. So you can stop by and see that. It comes in some beautiful pastel colors and then some more jewel tones and then grunge for the ruffle and just a really cute uh, little pinafore using the teacups around the bottom. So that is from the Charming Borders. And then lastly, Emily in Littleton um, made this table runner. This is one of the OESD table runners. It's the chili peppers with Hey There Hot Stuff. And she did this on the new Icon 2. And what was great about this project was she did it in a magnetic frame, but she used the projection, the camera that's built into the new machine, to line up all the chili peppers all the way around. So it was a group of four that she just worked all the way around and added the lettering. The lettering is in my Sonet. So she found the letters that she wanted. The design was longer than her hoop. So the software automatically split it for her, gave her registration points and she could line it right back up. This phrase right here was actually stitched out in three sections and in looking at it you would never know that that was the case so really some great technology out there on the machines that you can use this uh the back of it she's like don't show the back um the back does not look fabulous but we have a solution for that you know fusible woven is one of my favorite products so you can take the fusible woven and once the design is done, iron it on to the back of the design to cover up the stitching that's there. I actually like it to use it ahead of time as well. So I would iron it onto the back of the entire table runner, do the embroidery just to give it a little bit of stability along with tearaway and then go back and add another layer of it to the back to cover up kind of the not so prettiness of the design. So that is one of the OESD table runners. It is Charming Borders and just a really fun, great, quick project. Um, a great way to try out new techniques and learn new things on our fabulous machines. So we have also um, each month, OESD has bonus designs. If you spend $10 in OESD product, you get the bonus designs. And it was very popular this month. They're great um, freestanding lace coasters. So Terry made for us, I would imagine she'll probably hang this outside. She has a beautiful patio, has a little ring at the top. So she just took three, the three coasters and made them into a hanging, um, I guess you'd call it mobile that she's gonna put outside in her patio. Megan uh, was also very creative with hers. She made, um, we had one of these little mobiles last month. She made this, she used metallic thread on hers and she has metallic thread in the top and the bottom. So that's always a challenge. Um, the Icon 2 has active stitch technology, makes working with metallic threads, especially in the top and the bottom, really super easy. So this is just a fun, um, you could hang this on a patio, hang this in just a fun place in the baby's room. I don't know, maybe it's for baby Preston. So just a fun project and a different way to use the designs. You know, we're always looking for different ways to do things. And last but not least from that collection, Janine made the um, same designs 
just as coasters. So we have the moon and stars. We have um, this fun design. She used uh, variegated thread. So it's got a pretty variegated thread on there for color. And then just the sun. Um, these are freestanding lace, so you would stitch them out on a water-soluble stabilizer, rinse it away, and then you'd have your freestanding coasters. So those are fun projects. And then lastly, you know, every month we have those projects, those design discs that everybody loves. Um, the Charming Borders was one of them. And then the last one is um, Sweet Summer, Diane Labombare. I don't know how to pronounce her name, came out with this. It is really a great design disc. Um, it has some designs and then some of the individual pieces and then also some borders. There were probably about six or seven designs on this disc. I would love to have stitched out. Didn't have a chance to do all of that, but they really are fun designs for summer. Um, Donna did the lemonade design. But first, lemonade, it's a cute jar with the lemons to go with it. She put it on a towel. This is one of our great Dunrovin towels that we carry at the stores. Um, Hannah in Littleton also did the lemons, but she used it a little bit differently. She had this fun apron pattern. It's layered. It has the lemons. It has the solids. And she used the small lemons on the on the scallops and then the border of lemons on the waistband of the apron. Wouldn't this be fun to wear in the summer as you're entertaining or having a fun outdoor picnic? This would be a great apron to wear. Um, Amber was super creative with hers. Um, this design is called uh, Give Me S'more Summer. So she made a fun little bag that she filled with supplies. I wonder if she'll notice if they're missing when I send the bag back. But she's got skewers to do campfire, roasting of marshmallows, but what a fun bag for the summer. Um, she used fusible woven on the back of the design, some great grunge fabric, give me some more summer. What a great bag for the summertime, for kids, for camping, for any kind of project. Let me get rid of all this. And then last but not least, um, I fell in love with this fuchsia fabric. It's a one of our uh, Maywood shadow play fabrics. It's called Festival Fuchsias and it's just this beautiful bright pink. Um, and then we got this great grunge in that had that same pink. So I stitched out the bicycle, made a sleeve on the pillow, um, summertime is short, enjoy the ride. So this is another one of the designs on there. They have the bicycle separate. They, it's really a great disc. It's got fabulous designs on it. So I think that is all we have for you today. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, and be sure and stop by any of our four locations. We have a store in the Springs, one in Aurora, one in Arvada, and then the store in Littleton. We'll have samples on display, great things for you to see, all of our wonderful fabric that we have in the stores. And uh, be sure and join us later. Rosemary's gonna have some wonderful stuff, and I'll see you again next month in June. Thanks so much for joining us.